National security correspondent David Martin is with us now from the Pentagon. David, Russia is denying breaking any rules over the low passes, but we've seen these close encounters escalating over the years. In the simplest terms, what's going on here? Well, in the simplest terms, uh, Russia is uh, saying in a very uh, demonstrative way that it resents having U.S. forces operate uh, close to its territory, and it intends to push back. Yes, the, uh, the ship was uh, in international waters. It was also 70 miles off the coast of uh, Russian territory. And uh, Vladimir Putin feels uh, just like uh, the rulers of the old Soviet Union felt, that uh, there is this imperialist plot to encircle uh, Russia, then the Soviet Union, now Russia, uh, with forces uh, to keep it in check. And uh, you look at the expansion of NATO since the end of the Cold War, and uh, countries that now belong to NATO share borders with Russia. So uh, NATO is on uh, Russia's doorstep. This is what uh, Vladimir Putin uh, so vehemently protests, uh, mostly uh, verbally, but also uh, using his forces to, uh, to conduct operations like this, which uh, they say we're uh, safe, but uh, you look at the, the pictures and uh, uh, the pictures tell an entirely uh, different story. And this is, is not, almost certainly not going to be just a one-off occurrence. Uh, in the uh, Defense Department's uh, budget for the fiscal year that begins in uh, uh, October of this year, uh, there is uh, $3.2 billion to put more forces uh, more equipment, more tanks uh, into Europe, and then to rotate uh, American troops from the United States into Europe to conduct exercises with some of these countries that uh, used to either be uh, members of the Soviet Union proper or members of the, uh, the Soviet military alliance called the uh, Warsaw Pact. So they'll be doing exercises in places like Poland and in places like the uh, uh, the Baltic Sea. So uh, the U.S. in its uh, attempt to uh, uh, push back uh, at uh, Putin's uh, aggressiveness in places like uh, the Ukraine is going to uh, give him plenty of cause to even uh, have more resentment against NATO forces being camped on the doorstep of the Soviet, of Russia. David Martin, <clears throat> thank you very much. Sure thing.